Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well today. Got the sun in my eyes, so I can't see what I'm doing. So today I got a weird one. So we have what's called a drip emitter septic system here at home. The, the ground didn't perk, so there is a pumping system. And if you look right here, there is a control box with an aerator that distributes air to one of three tanks. So you got a, an aeration tank here, and then you have a gray water tank back here that pumps into little dripper lines in the yard. And right where the camera is here, there's a normal septic tank. Well, let me get you back over here. Here in the wastewater box here, a control box. There's a little aerator pump that pumps air to a line down to that tank. I'll lay my phone down. And it is shot, and the pump in my pump tank shot. So I had to get everything pumped, new pump, new lines, filters cleaned, and the whole bit, and it was like $1,500. The system's 19 years old, and it does pretty good. So I need to change the pump out, the aerator pump. So I got one, so from the company, they're $500. And I bought one about 10 years ago. And I said, boy, I don't want to have to spend $500 on this silly thing again, because I spent $1,500. So I found one on Amazon. I'm gonna see if I can make it work. And this one is for septic systems or ponds. And that's just all you got right here. You got where the airline comes out and power, and it's got a little filter inside of it. Here. I'm gonna be talking to the camera. My neighbors are gonna think I'm crazy, so. But we're gonna replace this and see what we can do here and make it work. So y'all stay with us. All right, so taking the old one off. Just gonna take the airline off right here. And you don't see too many videos on this system that people don't like working on them and they really don't like installing them. Take that other one off. There we go. Ants have decided to grow under them. I need to clean that up here in a second. So inside the control box, it's got all kind of timers and relays and stuff to uh, turn the pumps off and on on a time. So let me clean that up right there and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got it cleaned up and now I have to unwire it from the terminal strip. So let me, how's that? Yeah, that's not great, but all right. So got the power off. Okay, the power's off, so now I have to just take these wires off the terminal strip. Take his cord, take his cord grip off. And that one is done. Okay, the new pump. has got a receptacle plug and we'll just cut it off and strip the wires back and go in the terminal strip with it. Start recording. And 
like everybody always says, when you're working with power, be careful with it. Okay, one of these one of these wires has a white stripe. I'm gonna take that to be neutral. If I'd been smart, I'd uh, look that for a cut. It'd probably be all right. All right, where'd my little cord grip go? Let's go ahead and get it hooked up to the terminal strip. And it's labeled line ground neutral. Make sure I got the one with the white stripe. Yep, there it is. Let me go turn the power back on. I'll be right back. All right. Everything came on. This thing doesn't sit flat. I might have to get a board or something put on it. But it's sitting there pumping. That's a good deal. So it works off a timer. Uh, every 180 minutes, it runs for eight minutes, but I think the air it runs all the time. So that'd be good. So yeah, I'm gonna tie these wires back down. I'm gonna put a board under this and uh, cable tie it, which I may go and get the board now. Let me go get a board. So that's sitting good now. Put a cable tie around it. Or two. That'll work. I told my buddy Randy I'd take a picture of that for him. That's a schematic right there. I'll throw this pump away. And that'll do it. Um, that took about 10 minutes all together to put a new pump in this. is a clear stream system, drip emitter septic system. Not an exciting YouTube video talking about a septic system, but um, but that's it. Maybe this will get us going until we move off somewhere else and it'll work good for somebody else. So, well, there you have it. I hope you get something out of it. If you got a question, let me know. I'm learning a lot about these things here lately, especially how much they cost. But anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to be notified. And if you're ever on Rumble, do the same thing. So, but anyway, hope everybody's doing well today. Hope you're having a good day. 
And until the next video, thanks for watching.